What's up, Internet? Reviewing yet another Azurix card. Nakatatlo na kami. But before we get to this specific card, pag-usapan muna natin yung Azurix in general. Kasi ang dami nang tatanong online, dami ng mga flame wars, dami nang nagagalit. May nagsasabi na scam yung Azurix, may nagsasabi na de, legit naman sila. So ano ba yung position namin? And to be honest, when we get Azurix cards, kinakabahan ako. Parang inisip ko, Pinataya ko ba yung good reputation of the shop, of the channel, on a brand na we don't even carry. We don't even sell Azurix in the shop. But all we can say is based on our experience, legit naman sila. The cards are what they claim to be. Kung binili mo RX 580, RX 580 talaga yun. 5500 XT, 5500 XT talaga yun. The chips that they claim are in the cards are actually those chips. And the price is good. Compared to comparable cards in the market, the Azurix price is significantly cheaper. And we did have one comment in one of our Azurix videos explaining na nasira yung card niya at pinawarranty niya. And overall, mukhang okay naman yung experience. Natagalan naman konti, pero legit naman. Tinulungan siya ni Azurix and eventually they sent him a replacement card. Yung hindi lang talaga namin masagot is longevity. We haven't had these cards for a long time. The oldest is only several months with us. Pero ginagamit talaga namin sa shop either for the personal use of our staff, pag of hours, or sa mga test bench namin, in rotation talaga yung mga Azurix cards because one of the advantages is you don't really need to power them. They're not very power hungry. They're easy to swap out. So we have been using them. So far, nothing to report. They're all still working. Wala namang failures, wala namang weird behavior. But so far, so good. Sawa ka na ba sa unactivated windows mo? Well, lucky you! Pinakabago mula sa cdkeyoffer.com Windows 10 and Windows 11 activation, activation codes. codes. Legit, safe, at pinakamura. Madali lang ang order. Hanapin ang Windows version na gusto mo. Piliin ang preferred payment method. Wala pang 5 minutes, may cdk ka na para sa Windows mo. Marami na kaming natulungan. Dati, sad and depressed ako. But now, I found the love of my life! Dati, aimless and walang purpose ang life ko. But now, I'm a world-class Zumba instructor! So, web developer ako and content creator for a YouTube channel. And ngayon, ganun pa rin ako pero activated na yung Windows ko. Kaya ako naghahanap ka ng legit, mura, at original software. Check out cdkoffer.com. Check out cdkoffer.com. Check out cdkoffer.com. And with that, we go on to the latest card na pinadala, RX 580. Pero teka, RX 580 ulit. The first Azurix card we got was also an RX 580. But ito yung pinaka-latest nila. Pinaka-latest daw na updated yung cooling. So they've changed the heatsink a bit. They've changed the cooling element, may backplate na siya. So the RX 580 is a known quantity. Basically, you can look up online what games go well with it, 1080p settings, very decent performance even now in 2023. So just a specific question about this latest card. Does the improvement in cooling make any difference? Dadagdag ba yung performance mo sa games because it runs cooler? And that's what we'll find out in this video. We tested both the old and new versions of the Azurix RX 580 and to get the temps as hot as possible, our test setup for both was a really tiny SFF PC. In Forza 5, medium preset, the old card had its lowest FPS output at 51, compared with 52 for the new card. Max FPS on the old card was 80, whereas it was 82 for the new card. Finally, average FPS of the old card was 64, with the new card at 65 FPS. Temps-wise, the average temp of the old card during the Forza test was 63 degrees compared to 61 degrees for the new card. In Shadow of the Tomb Raider, high preset, the old card had its lowest FPS output at 50 compared to 51 for the new card. Max FPS of the old card hit 96, whereas the new card hit 100 FPS. Average FPS for the old card was 62, with the new card edging it out again with 64 FPS. Temps-wise, the average temp of the old card while playing Shadow of the Tomb Raider was 62 degrees, with the average temp of the new card just a shade lower at 61 degrees. Finally, we also ran 3D Mark. Floor FPS for the old card was 14, with 15 FPS for the new card. 
Max FPS produced by the old card was 50, equal to the new card which also hit a max FPS of 50. For average FPS though, the old card managed 24 and the new card edged it out again with 26 FPS. Temps wise, the average temp of the old card during 3D Mark was 55, whereas the average temp of the new card was 58 degrees. The only time that the new card had an average temp higher than the old card. Bottom line, mas maganda ba tong bagong RX 580 compared to the old one? Impressively, may increase nga talaga sa frames per second and mas malamig nga siya. But looking at the data, sobrang liit lang ng performance gain niya. We're talking about like 1 or 2 FPS. Qualitatively, hindi mo mapapansin yun. When you're playing a game, 1 to 2 FPS increase won't really matter. And that's the same thing with a 1 degree difference. Yes, maganda na mas malamig siya, but at the end of the day, nothing will really change with a 1 degree difference. Pero, magkano ba pinag-uusapan natin? The new RX 580 currently sells for around 4,360 dun sa Isurix na Shopee site. And the old one goes for around 4,200. So we're talking about a 160 peso difference. Kung yun lang naman yung price difference, wag mo na pag-isipan pa. Yes, you probably won't feel the difference, but there is a difference measurably. Kunin mo na yung bagong RX 580. If you're still on the fence, which card you should get, the old one or the new one? 160 pesos relatively isn't a lot, but at least may gain talaga. Thanks for watching. Paminsan, may nagtatanong kung may kilala ba kaming computer shop na trusted, yung hindi ka lolokohin. Actually, meron. Kami. Full service PC store ang Hardware Sugar. Nagbabenta kami ng PC components. Nagbabenta rin kami ng fully assembled rigs. We clean computers. Kasama na rin yung excellent cable management namin and CPU cooler repasting sa cleaning. We also clean and repaste GPUs. Nasa Makati yung physical store namin and you can also buy from our site www.hwsugar.ph na 100% palaging up-to-date yung inventory dun. Kung in-stock yung item sa amin, available yun sa site. We also ship nationwide. Thanks for watching and maybe one of these days, magkita tayo sa shop.